four hours, 12 minutes, and 21 seconds for those of you playing along at home, and I know that you are. Ugh. Sorry about that. I had to catch my delivery. It's raining. You don't want to be missing them. Ugh. Woo! All right, so a more competitive contest this time around, but the result was the same. W. Meet and draw defeat Matt and Jeff Hardy. Tag team champions beaten on consecutive weeks by the upstart tag team of the century. Uh, I would like I would like a shot at tag team gold immediately, please. Skip, 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 skip. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Meat and Draws versus Thrasher and Chaz. Oh boy. Maybe this is a tune-up match. Maybe they maybe they're setting us up. They're just giving the they're beefing our wing count so that when we get to the big money match, we're well seasoned and ready to win. You know what I'm saying? Let's skip all of this, please. Let's go. What's up, Thrasher? What's up? Ooh. It kind of annoys me that he's Thrasher and he's teaming up with Chaz. Like, I'm like, you should have just left the mosh. The headbangers would have been a way better fit for this game. Let's go. You got potatoed to start the match. I don't feel right about being blocked in, in attack mode by Thrasher. I don't think that he has the necessary stats. To block even one of my maneuvers. So fuck that. Get over here. No respect. Oh, I shouldn't have went for light grapples. It's early in the match, Dan. Keep keep strategy hot. Don't, don't fall victim to ego now. Oh, look what he set up for. America's favorite move. Can I do it to this corner? No, they stopped me. Okay. Now I know. I can't do it towards the partner. Oh, I forgot about leg spin. That sucks. Twist your neck. Work on them legs. We don't have no leg holes. Bah. That's just to let you know I'll pick a body part. I ain't one dimensional. Boom. Get over there. Oh, working that neck. Working that neck. Let's go. Feel this thing. Feel this thing. Boom. All of my offense concentrated on your neck. Boom. 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 Already hurting. Already. Not a coochie con Rana. Dump him on his headpiece. Lift him up. Power bomb in the middle to draw out his partner. Yep, there it is. Boom. Ah. I expected you to break that up. That's fine. Oh, I didn't expect that, though. Sit down. Come here. How dare you? Get down. Boom. Now get up. Get up. Pick him up. Let's go. We're going to hit both. We're going to hit both. Boom. Yeah, we're going to work fast. Hit him. Boom. And now the deadliest finisher in the game. Let's go. There's enough time. There's just enough time. Get to the back. Don't fuck it up. Hit it. Wow. Boom. So he's getting up in the danger pose. That's fine. That's when we, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. That's fine, actually. It kind of worked out. Damn. All right. Up top, leg drop. We'll call it a day. He's getting up, though. He's getting up. All right, get in the corner. Big clothesline. Oh, I try to go for a big boot in the corner. I like that. Oh, shit. I can't resist America's favorite move. Boom. Bah! Meat and potatoes, baby. Let me get my corner time. Let me get my corner time. Let's go. What you got, Thrasher? What you got? What you got? Ooh. Ah. 
stay on your neck. Let's go. Now you about to taste the power bomb. You better hope you in those ropes. Oh, but I moved. It's over. Count it. Count to a million. Count to a million. He ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. He don't got what it takes to get it done in the ECW. Tell you, I really wish they put the skip button as the first button, cause I almost accidentally hit watch, and we would we would have been suffering. We'd had to watch the Blue Meanie wrestle Prince Albert for a half an hour. Ooh, the belt on the line on Sunday Night Heat. Let's see who wins. And the new. And the new. On Sunday Night Heat, by submission, The Rock beat Stone Cold Steve Austin for the World's Championship on Sunday Night Heat by submission. You love to see it. Matt Hardy versus Al Snow for the hardcore title. Matt Hardy can take this. I felt it. I felt it. Boom. Brian Christopher. Oh, the, the, uh, uh, the battle of the losers. All right, fair enough. Meat versus Bernard. Wow. Got to go up against our boy. You hate to see it. Hate to see an inter-family match, but you got to do it sometimes. I'm sad every time I forget to skip before this video comes up. You know what though? Singles match. We watch the entrance. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Meat. What you know about meat. Not a bad entrance. Not a bad entrance at all. Prince Albert in his corner. This is a conflict of interest. Oh, what's up with that? How come he got my man as his heater? What the fuck? We should all be stable mates. This bullshit. I knew I should have took the blue meanie. set yourself up. You set yourself up for a fa America's favorite food. Meat and potatoes, baby. Don't let me get my corner taunt. Don't let me, don't, don't, don't let me get my corner taunt. Let's go. You scared? What, you scared? You don't want it again? You don't want it again? I'll give it to you. Ooh. Nah, reverse. Hook the ropes. No, 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 you don't. No, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't do that. You didn't know it could go the other way, did you? Taste this. Wow. Diving cross body. Let's go. Oh. Got to pause. Got to pause. My bell is going. I can't even make the sick beats no more. It's terrible. You hate to see it. What's up, Squid? Hello, Squid family. We all out here. I mean, it's an unfortunate pause. <laughs> we got a, we got a, we got a face full of Bernard. That's fine. That's fine. We out here. Uh, I was, I was, I'll, I'll catch y'all up very briefly on the goings on. I was feeling a little out of sorts. Wasn't sure if I was gonna stream. 
And this classic from the uh, the days of yesteryear came in the mail today. And I decided, you know what? Impromptu WrestleMania 2000 stream. Let's go. So we've taken possibly the worst wrestler on the entire roster. His name is Meat. And we will be pushing him to the world's championship. Let's go. Oh, I see. I see a follow. Oh, shit. What's up? What up, Shark? Welcome to the family. You love to see it. Uh. Uh. Okay, so we've been, we've, been, we've been establishing our psychology. We do a lot of work on the head and neck area because our finishing move drops them on the head and neck. This one I played with my brother when I was a kid. Love this, like, two guitar riff music. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Boom, so look at that, look at that, look at that arrogance. Boom, set him up with the spinning DDT, bam. And then the deadliest finishing maneuver in the game. Here we go, here we go. Boom, boom, scorpion death drop. Bow, on his head. That's it. Oh, and he... Mm -hmm. He defies us by getting up. See, that's that's where he made mistakes. We didn't make mistakes. He made mistakes. And we cover him by the feet. So we get him away from the ropes. There it is. Boom. 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 Easy. Easy. Two minutes flat. They cannot compete with meat. That's the catchphrase I'm working on. They can't compete with meat. Let's go. Let's go. Push him to the moon, baby. Drop stacks on him. Million dollar contracts, Rolex watches, alligator shoes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that's a wonderful catch race. That's See, that's all I'm saying. You can't compete with me. Meat versus Prince Albert. Yes, Prince Albert, who would later be known as the A-Train, who would later be known as Giant Bernard. That's why I call him Bernard. Who will later be known as Lord Tensai. They tried several iterations with this man. None of them worked. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my lights. Get a little darker here. It's it's storming in New York City today. Oh my goodness. But yes, Prince Albert, as he was once known, he carried to the ring a piercing kit. And I think the implication was that he was gonna pierce the genitalia of his, of his victims? I guess, maybe? I mean, I think that's what they were going for. <laughs> wrestling is what? Wrestling. Wrestling is wrestling. I've been trying to get into it for the lore. I mean, the lore is what we really where it's at, if you think about it. Um, if you ever want to see a video that almost makes it cool, Super Eye Patch Wolf did an amazing video on the long-term storytelling of pro wrestling and why it's special. And I swear to God, the man is so talented that you watch this video and you almost come out of it feeling like it's high art. And then you go watch wrestling and you're like, it's the schlockiest thing in the world. And I, and mind you, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I remember when Misha and I first started dating, right? She, like, never really watched wrestling. And I didn't know if she had or hadn't. She just happened to be coming over, and, and we were going to be watching a wrestling show. And I was like, listen, we're going to watch wrestling, you know? And I've had this conversation with a, a million girls over the years where it was like, we were watching wrestling. You don't have to come if you don't, you know, if you don't want to sit through that. I totally understand. I will not be offended. But, you know, she's like, yeah, let's do it. So she's there, she's watching it, and it's on, for, it's on for about a half an hour. And she's just looking at it, and she's like, she just turns to me, she's like, this is hilarious. I love this. She's like, it's real life anime. And I'd never heard anybody put it that way, and it made me laugh so hard. I was like, yeah, it kind of is. Like, now, now that you mention it, it really is. It's like real life anime. It's anime with people. It's, it's fucking great. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and especially like the stuff that, that was going on when I was a youth would, would be considered 
uh, problematic by today's standards. You know, it definitely would not be considered quality television this day and age. But it was just so ridiculous that, like, how could you not fall in love with it? Oh, we're going to wrestle these boys again for the third time. Let's go. Let's go. We'll embarrass them again. The dialogue, the poses, the muscles. It's fantastic. JoJo, yeah, I know. It's on my list. It's on my list. I will get to it. All right, now I'm still trying to finish Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's like the show that I got to finish. After that, though, after that, and I got to finish uh, Castlevania. I'm still on season three of Castlevania, so I got to get through that and then watch season four. After that, I got room. You know what? Since we got some new people here, I'm going to let y'all see the entrance. Got to have the entrance. Oh, we got to put it in the build. Let's go. Let's go. You love to see it. Listen, Squid, I know, I know you're all jazzed up on the boobas right now. I know that. A couple, couple of days worth of blood rain will do that to you. <laughs> I didn't get to watch today, though. I saw you were playing part two. I was like, oh, what'd you think of part two? Oh, this is perfect. Who, who, who put this in here? Hive Mind? Yo, thank you very much, Hive Mind Radio. Here we go. This is, this is the caliber of wrestler we're wrestling as right here. For those of you not in the know, there he is. That's our boy. <laughs> That's our boy. That's our boy, Meat. <laughs> That's the man we're going to take all the way to the world's championship. And we will take him to the world's championship. No one don't get it twisted. Part two was hilarious. It wants to be... So, well, but first of all, no sorries. All right, we are we are appreciative of all jiggly bits in all forms of all bodies on this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, it wants to be Devil May Cry three so bad. Oh, it's got Blood Rain got a long way to go to be Devil May Cry. <laughs> I mean, I'll take Blood Rain over Devil May Cry too, though. I'll, I'll give it that. Let's go, let's wrestle again, boys. Y'all haven't been embarrassed by us enough to, oh, it's time for America's favorite move. Oh, no, I can't fuck it up for the people. Yeah, meat and potatoes. Let's go, let's go. Oh, tag team wrestling at its finest, did you see that? So now, Squid, are you gonna play it all the way through, or are you just were you just checking it out? Oh, you want a little more, do you? You want a little more? Oh, oh, he avoided narrowly avoided disaster. Boom, takes the power bomb. Ah! Don't you dare, don't you dare. Don't you dare act like you're gonna do business. You ain't doing business. Boom, spin. Spin to win, let's go. Oh, and now the deadliest finishing move in the game. Scorpion death drop. Ah! Don't, don't get up. You besmirch my good name when you get up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Sit down, be humble. Go count it, count to a thousand. Let's go. All right, that's embarrassing. Two minutes flat. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, about to get to work packing. Hope you're having a good lurk. Uh, play more games, fellas. Absolutely. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna complete it. I kept getting lost. The first one kept me nostalgia blinded. Not sure if it's good or not. I just love it. Perfect. I mean, that's great. Sometimes. You gotta do it. 
So you're moving from Florida to Minnesota. So that's going to be a crazy amount of culture shock, right? Because you're going from like warm to cold. <laughs> I can't wait to hear all about your adventures in the new land. I want to hear all the stories. I want to hear how crazy they are out there, all the differences. I can't wait to hear about the differences in regional food. That's the shit that gets me excited. I love that stuff. That's awesome, though. That's, that's right. And also now I can get a scouting report on Minnesota. I love getting scouting reports on places I've never been. Because then I get, a, I get a picture in my head of what's going on over there. I can prep myself in case I'm ever in town. Let's go, boys. Can we please either get a shot at those tag team titles or move on? I'm sick of beating that same tag team over and over and over again. See, now nah, that, that's just a smart move all around, Squid. You can't go wrong getting into hockey. Oh, we're moving up the card. You love to see it. You love to see it. Unless we're not booked. I don't want to think that we're not booked. Let's see. Boom. Rasher. Okay. Boom. All right. Midian putting <laughs> Midian putting his European title on the line against Mr. McMahon. Let's see who wins that. Oh my goodness, boys! They, what is this? They're making us do the singles tour against the family. First, they made us go against Bernard. Now they got us going against the Lethal Weapon, Steve Blackman, who we already took to the top of the mountain in No Mercy. Damn. All right, now, Squid, hold on. I can get behind the Seattle Krakens. I mean, obviously, that speaks for itself. You can't go rooting for the Pittsburgh Penguins, though. As a New York Rangers fan, I got to tell you, we got certain lines in the sand that we don't cross. One of those lines is the Pittsburgh Penguins. I can't, I think too highly of you to inflict that upon you. Don't, don't make those kind of mistakes with your life, Squid. You're a wonderful human being. You should not have to be saddled with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I understand, I understand. But the Penguin belies the true sinisterness that exists underneath. See, they lull you in with the cute logo, but really, they're just the worst of the worst. Actually, they're not the worst of the worst. I don't want to say things I don't mean. They're the second or third worst. The worst of the worst being the Philadelphia Flyers. So as long as you don't root for the Philadelphia Flyers, we're fine. <laughs> but they're on the list. <laughs> I'm so hyped today. Every time I stream one of these old school wrestling games, I just, I just... Minnesota Vikings, I'm totally okay with that. That's fine. Oh, look at the lethal weapon, Steve Blackman. Right, you could wear your already purchased Viking hat to the games. It's like perfect. You could be sitting at the TV with the Viking hat on. Let's go. Let's go. How are we supposed to beat the lethal weapon, Steve Blackman? He's got glowing uh, beat-em-up sticks. <laughs> Batons, if you will. Oh, spin move! What you know about spin move? Matter of fact, I'm gonna pop up because we got people in the chat right now. I'm gonna pop up. Boom, two in a row. Bam. Ah! I'm covered in kisses, bro. You ain't ready for this kind of competition. What's up? Oh, no. I'm undefeated in an hour and 10 minutes. Get in the corner. Taste the book of flavor, let's go. Oh, don't, don't do that. Boom, to the chin. All the offense concentrated on the head and neck area. Oh, I just looked over and saw the word jabronis. As soon as I land this meat and potatoes, I'm gonna see what that's about. Boom, meat and potatoes, baby. You know, my buddies are all musicians. They made a cover band doing wrestling intro songs called themselves the Jabronis. That's a great name for a wrestling cover band. Uh, my bandmates in August on Sunday, uh, Sully and Rob, 
before we were August on Sunday, they were in a band together called Hardly Seen. And they once performed the entrance, at a show, they once performed the entrance music of one Mr. Ass, a.k.a. the badass Billy Gunn, uh, the famous musical number, I'm an Ass Man. And it was wonderful. <laughs> Yo, Danny, thanks for that follow. Oh, no doubt, man. How you doing, Lodo? Actually, to be honest, I didn't realize I wasn't already following you. And so I was like, oh, I got to fix that. <laughs> you know how it be sometimes. Oh, high cross body off that top rope. You love to see it. So, oh, who did what? Who did what? Oh, you love to see it with the follow back. Thank you, Papa. I won in two minutes while paying attention to the chat. It's just too easy. And I didn't even need to use the deadliest finishing move in the game. This game though, it's oh, it's it's the best. Going going back in time. I still have I'm playing on hardware. Why you gotta be me? Cause I gotta take the lowest of the low to the top of the mountain. That's how I do it. When we played No Mercy, we took Steve Blackman to the top. When we played SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, we, we took uh, uh, Sean O'Hare to the top. We did SmackDown versus Raw. We took we took Bernard himself, Trevor Murdoch, to the top. Now we're here doing WrestleMania 2000. It's got to be me. <laughs> it's, it's, what else could it possibly be? But I was saying, so I still, I'm playing on hardware. I'm still playing on hardware. I got the N64. But check out how, how I'm doing it. So I'm running. You can't beat. The meat was that was that was that what I was saying before? No, I was like, I think. How did I phrase it? I lost the catchphrase already. You know what? You know what? It's, that would change it. You can't beat the meat. There it is. That's the new catchphrase. So, so this is how I'm running it. It's kind of hilarious. So I'm running old hardware, and I got. I try to. I don't know. I can't get in the camera shot. So I got the old school yellow white. Uh, and red cables, right? The old school, straight into the TV cables, running into this little box that outputs them in 1080p HDMI. And then I got that HDMI cable running into my HDMI splitter, which bumps the, <laughs> the, the, the signal coming in, the 1080p signal, up to 4K. So we got the N64 running in 4K on my badass TV, and I am amazed at how decent this looks. <laughs> Like, I expect it to be looking at smudges. Because it, it, this TV should, resolution-wise, this should look like squares, you know? But no, it looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I think the ROM dump they have around of this made Dean Malenko and Road Dog OP as fuck. D Jesus. Yo, the Kraken do have a sick logo. It's right up your alley. I mean, clearly, you're gonna have to get at least, at least a hat. But really... You should rock the jersey. It's practically on brand. Let's go. All I do is win. Give me a shot. At we are undefeated. We had seven. Oh, let's go. Give us a shot at gold. We've earned it. Remember the first time Kane taking off the mask? Oh, my God. Let's not let's not go back in time like that. Let, let, let's stay in the happy place, you know. A three-way dance. Come on, boys. Don't do me like this. Oh, in the edit. Oh, in the edit mode. <laughs> oh, when you get a little burnt face look, you know. <laughs> oh, the good old days. <laughs> Ah, you taking me back. Give me old memories. Oh, I forgot to skip the entrance. Bad news, vegans. Meat wins. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, but you know what, though? I, don't, I haven't decided. Maybe we're, maybe we're the white meat baby face. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to exclude anybody from rooting for meat. So I don't want to come at the vegans. You know, if we're supposed to be a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I mean, we're covered in kisses after all. 
You were a fan of Isaac Yank? <laughs> the evil dentist? I was scared of him when I was a kid. I, he thought he looked scary. Ugh. I gotta take on two men with my meat. This is gonna be difficult. Even vegans meat. I love it. I love it. Yes. Ah, oh, sea squid. That's what I'm talking about. You my kind of girl. Hell yeah. I am, uh, till this day, a huge Sting mark. I love Sting. And The Undertaker, of course, but I love Sting. Yo, oh, look at the sticks! Look at the sticks! Everybody, I mean, universally speaking, everyone loves Stone Cold Steve Austin. How can you not? Stone Cold Steve Austin literally became the American dream. He just went to work and slapped that shit out of his boss. And we were all like, yes. Oh! Eric with the host. Thank you, Papa. You love to see it. All right, you boys, handle business. WCW it was Sting and Harlem Heat. WWF was Undertaker Stone Cold and Mankind is the runner up. I respect that. Uh, growing up, I was a Bret Hart guy. That was, that was, that was and is, was, and will forever be my favorite wrestler of all time. Um, when I was small, I loved Hogan because you had to, you know, when I was little, little. Oh, heck yeah. That's one of the things you really feel if you if you pay any attention to wrestling now, you you really feel the uh, the difference in the quality of the entrance music now. The the guy that for many years wrote all those songs uh, doesn't doesn't work for WWE anymore. And the new people that they've brought in, it's just not to the same caliber at all. Yeah, Jim Johnson. Oh, you, you know your shit. Hell yeah. Oh, double team. Like him up. Ah! My big bro was into it more than me for sure. There was always a rumor that China busted an implant. There have been a few girls over the years who busted implants. I mean, that's a real situation. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised this doesn't happen more because, you know, a lot of the girls get the implants. So you would think that, like, with that kind of physicality. Although I guess less get implants now than they used to. In, in the 90s, that was kind of like the thing. Pam Anderson kind of like made it so that like implants became like for, for a couple of years that basically implants were titties for a while. All right, you taste the steel. Boom. All right. Cool. Now you come here. No, no, come here. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. You get some too. Bam. Taste the steel. No, I didn't mean to pick them up. Ah. Oh, hold up. I really hate that the bell is like, I gotta get a new bell. Boom, what's up? Lolo with the sub, baby. Shmoney's in the chat. Squid already knows. Shmoney's in the chat. Hit him with that shmoney. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You love to see it. Boom. Oh! Let's go! 200 followers, yeah, I got that. I hit that 200 follow mark. We moving on up. Let's go. Oh, look at Lolo, look at that hat. Lolo, that hat looks good on you. That hat looks good on you, Papa. You love to see it. You love to be seen. No, 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 don't do that. Raking the back, that's disrespectful. Don't do that. Come on now. I don't like this focus. I don't like that two men are focusing on me right now. Two men are focusing on my meat, and I'm not into it. <gasps> you interrupted America's favorite move. How dare you? Yeah, reverse. 
Let's go. Bah! All right, you work. You work while I build up my meter. Thank you very much for the sub and the gift sub. That's that's big. That's big moves. We, we appreciate. It. Thank you for contributing to the Danny Ax Danny Axel Sandwich Fund. <laughs> Every dollar you spend on this channel gets me closer to sandwich, and I will eat the sandwich. I, I see some I see some hilarity there, Squid, and I want to see it. <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta I just gotta do a thing real quick. All right, count, go ahead, count it. Boom. There it is. Two men easily defeated by my meat. Welcome to the internet world. <laughs> All men are focused on your meat now. <laughs> uh, ain't the truth. Ain't it the truth. I, you know, I've been thinking about it. I was saying what I want to do is I want to do a hot tub stream, right? But I, what I want to do is I want to do the exact same stream that I always do. But I want to put a kiddie pool in this room and just put the chair in the kiddie pool and sit in the chair in the kiddie pool fully dressed and just do the stream like normal and be like this is my hot tub stream what's up <laughs> it's i keep thinking about it and i gotta stop because if i think about it too long i'll do it because i'm stupid like that but i kind of <laughs> as long as your feet are showing no 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 one needs to see that i got stegosaurus feet ain't nobody need to see that <laughs> If there's one part of my body you don't want to see, that's the one. That's genius. Thank you. I thought so, too. I'm like, whatever. Hot tub stream. Let's go. <laughs> Please suffer back. <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, a couple, of, like, this is a while ago. That's probably, like, a couple years ago now. A couple years ago, my ex-wife was like, yo, come get a pedicure with me. And I was like... What? She's like, come on, I'm gonna go, come with me. I was like, and I don't know what was in the air that day, but I was just like, yeah, all right, no doubt, fuck it, let's go. We, we're hanging out, you know? I was like, yeah, fuck it. And we went, and first of all, I was ticklish as fuck, I gotta admit, it was not easy for me to let somebody mess around like that. But it, it was actually a nice experience. I was like, oh, I totally see why somebody would, 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 would spend money like this and do this. This is like, and it was cool because it was like a peek behind the curtain, you know? Not that I'm trying to say that that pedicure has got to be a feminine activity because fuck all that. But generally speaking, it's what you associate it with. Most fellas I know don't be going going to do shit like that. So I, I'd never even been inside a nail joint, right? Like ever. So I was like, so we went, so it was like a peek behind the curtain into a whole different world. And it was fascinating. I was like, man, there's vibes out here I don't even know exist. And that right there is why I don't understand intolerance. Why would you ever be not about something that you never even messed with? All you could do is learn, right? And then you could be like, oh, I mess with this or I don't mess with this. But it was interesting and I had a really good time. And I'm glad it's, it's on the list of things that I've done and I'm happy about that. Now I haven't gone back, but I have thought about it a couple of times. But you know what was funny? <laughs> it's actually a funny thing. After, like, I'm so used to my feet having, like, <laughs> the ability to grip the ground because they're basically, like, catcher's mitts at this point. But after this this experience, everything was so, like, silky and smooth that I felt I was, like, sliding around in my shoes for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, bro's got to get pedicures more. I'm licensed to do them. Fun fact, there's a pressure point you can push to prevent the ticklishness. That's, see, that's, there you go. N even more new information. That's hilarious. Oh, I got to put it in the build. Got to do that. Hold up. Hold up. Thank you for the link. You know how this game is played. Which, actually, I got to say, props to everybody in the chat. Uh, it's been a long time since somebody requested me to put something in the build and didn't give me a link. Oh, one of my favorite moments. I watched this happen live because I'm old. <laughs> I watched this happen live because I'm an old ass man. Let's go. All right, hold on. 
Give, give, give me the thing. Boom. Uh huh. Go here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where's the folder at? Daddy downloaded to. Gotta get to the downloads folder. Mm. Ah. I gotta say, we picked a good wrestler. If for nothing else, he's got an excellent theme song. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's like, I kick the habit. <laughs> Shed my skin. <laughs> right? It got a little bit of sledgehammer in there. Look at that. Hilarious. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh! <laughs> this is the new stuff. I come shuffling in. I've been on a big Peter Gabriel era Genesis kick lately. Oh my God. Last night I was up to like three in the morning watching a 1973 performance of The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. And I was just having the best time. The, just just the absolute best time. If you haven't checked out that record, even if you're not like a huge prog rock type of person, I feel like the storytelling in that on that album and the way that it flows from song to song, I think that album could... Uh, I was born in the 80s, born in 1983, uh, which puts me at a sprightly 38 years decrepit. <laughs> Husbando is all in the progress. Oh, man. Uh, is he, does, he, does he mess with Genesis? Or specifically that record, though, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway? It's, that's a really good album. Uh, if he hasn't messed with that record, he probably knows it if he's in the prog. It's, it's a famous record. Uh, he's, a, he's always listening to Steve Wilson. I was really, really, really into Porcupine Tree. Um, like I've seen them live probably like 15 times. Uh, I haven't been into his solo career as much, and I hate to like, I hate to admit it because it's like, it feels like I'm not supporting my boy, but um. Oh, and a great, I'll give you a great recommendation. If he's into Stephen Wilson, then that means he's probably into Porcupine Tree. If he hasn't already, tell him to check out a band called Amplifier. They're from the UK, and I, I know of them because they actually opened for Porcupine Tree at one point, and that's how I became aware of them. They're a much lesser known band, and they're, they're, just, they're still around, and they're really, really, really phenomenal. Like, I have all of their records on vinyl. Uh, they're they're tremendous i've never seen them live because they're not big enough to even come to america but yeah if he's into prog he, tell him to check out amplifier if he doesn't already know who they are i think that it's a, that's an easy hit if you like porcupine tree all right i'm not gonna throw up the brb but i do want to go grab another beer i'll be back in like two seconds See, what did I miss here? I grew up on Alice in Chains, Ozzy, and Southern Rap. Nice. That's all good stuff. Uh, I like music. It's like musicians, music for musicians. I feel like it separates my brain, like how people deconstruct food in fancy restaurants. Hell yeah. That is actually a great assessment of it. And I feel like, yeah, at first you might be overwhelmed by like the intricacy of it. But over time, I feel like the kind of melodic elements and the hooks and things reveal themselves. And it ends up being catchy music, even though at first it was maybe a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I, I like prog rock. I, I've always been a fan. Um, I, as far as uh, Lodo, what you were saying, I grew up, so I was born in the 80s. So my early um, like musical vocabulary was formed by 
a lot of new wave. So I was really into The Cure, uh, Tears for Fears, the psychedelic furs, just that kind of cool. 80, the 80s was full of a lot of really awesome character vocalists. There was a lot of like singers with, with really personality-driven voices. Um, so that was sort of like my earliest musical vocabulary. Michael Jackson, too, of course. Tons of Michael Jackson. Uh, and then, but that was when I was young. And then when I was a teenager, the grunge thing was happening. And so I was just super into all that Seattle music. And, and that's like, so that, and, and of course the classic rock stuff too, like uh, Zeppelin and all that. So a combination of the classic rock that uh, as a teenager, I got into the Seattle scene. As a kid, I listened to a lot of 80s new wave and all running through that was just getting deeper and deeper in education and classic rock. And that sort of became the framework of my of my musical taste and my want to do that because it in my it's weird to say in my in my in my day job like you know my day to day life the the the, the real Danny Axel I'm I'm in, I'm a career musician I've been I've been playing live music now for I've been on stage for 22 years which is insane to think about I played my first show at 16 and uh, I've been in several bands. Uh, my current and longest running band, August on Sunday, have been together for around 10 years, or maybe more, 12 years probably even at this point. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's like, you know, we're, we're lucky enough to be a self-sustainable act. We're, we're of some of some renown in the local scene and, and we do well enough to tour and stuff. Uh, completely independent. We've never, never had any backing or anything, but I, I, I love that. And uh I just release music constantly, either in my band or solo records or under various aliases and all different types of genres and whatever the hell I feel like making at any given moment. Um, yeah, as a, music has been this like kind of centerpiece of my life since as far back as I have memory. Like I was always singing and writing words and playing my guitar. <laughs> like, that's just that's, that's what it's all been. And it's kind of funny in a weird way, like that. All of that definitely helped me with this once Twitch started kind of paying off a little bit and actually becoming something sustainable as like a secondary source of income um, just that, that that natural kind of being used to performing I, I don't I don't feel so bad about jumping on here and talking to y'all it's, it's comfortable whereas I think if I didn't have that background I would probably be way too introverted to do this because I am kind of introverted uh, by nature uh, I'm a bit of a shy fella, <laughs> but uh, it all works out, man. It's crazy how it goes. My dad is into Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Johnny Cash. Oh, so yeah. So your dad's a dad. I love it. <laughs> and I got in. I got into ICP, Disturbed, Typo Negative. I love that you're into Typo Negative because that's I'm from Brooklyn. They're 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 from 15 minutes away from me. So typo negative was like a rite of passage in my neighborhood. You had to be in the typo negative. So that's great. I actually have a cover of uh, Love You to Death that I'm going to I'm gonna be releasing a covers album. I don't know, probably a few months, uh, maybe a few more than a few months. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm cobbling it together from things I've recorded over the years. A lot of like drunken nights with friends. Like, yeah, let's fucking record a version of this. So... I'm going through all the tracks and like seeing what's usable and what needs to be finished out. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a covers record and that is on there 100. percent Lane Staley was an incredible singer, man. He was he had raw singing ability and he had a way to. He's very he's very good at emoting and he seemed so effortless, but he delivered like so much power. I, I also am a, a huge fan of Lane Staley's voice. Kind of irreplaceable, which is what makes the fact that the band has been able to continue and put out good music kind of a miracle. Speaks to Jerry Cantrell is, is a pretty good songwriter. Damn yeah, right, you heard the newer stuff? Yeah, I, li I like it a lot. Mm. Ex especially the... um. The Black Gives Way to Blue album, and then the most recent one that they released. I don't remember. I only I only listened to it a couple times. Um, those were really strong. There was one in the middle there I wasn't so crazy about, but um, definitely it's been more than I expected them to be able to do. Yeah, yeah, The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. That's that's the name of it, yeah. Uh, I wasn't that into that one, but, um, but the other two that they've done I, I thought were really good.
I love me some rock and roll. I'm nerdy for rock and roll, man. I keep trying to think about ways that I could incorporate that into streams. I, I just like that the new lead singer isn't trying to be lame. He's great, actually. The 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 current lead singer of, of Alice in Chains is a guy named William Duvall. And before he got that gig, he was in a band called Comes With The Fall. And that band was fucking awesome. Like... He's capable of much more than he's actually either been allowed or been willing to do in Alice in Chains. Um, uh, what was the name? Comes with the Fall. Comes with the Fall. Um, they were really fucking good. I got a few musical. I got a few musical weaknesses though. If it's got banjo in it, I love it. I can't help it. Also, a nice bass lick wins me over. I get that. Actually, I also I really like the the sound of the banjo. I. I uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Brian, who I'm in the band Side Piece with, uh, he has a banjo at his house, and I just took it off the wall and started messing with it. And like within a minute, I was like, "Man, if I had one of these at home, I would be chicken picking all day." Like, let's go! Like, it's such a cool sound, and when you get it rolling, it like feels really awesome. All right, another tag team match against these fools. Let's do it. So, you know, I like to do impromptu booze reviews because I, uh, I walk into the store and if I see something I haven't tried and it catches my, my eye, I got to try it. So here we have some Arnold Palmer spiked. And I got to say, uh, delicious. It tastes like, uh, like an Arnold Palmer, like if you would get it from the store, with booze in it. It's a little too sugary. Like, I got through this whole can and I kind of got the, like, in my throat. Uh, the taste is good. Lemonade and iced tea, yes. Uh, but I would say that, like, the problem is I don't think you want to drink a whole can of this, but it's tasty. And here we have, because I thought we were going to do Hive Mind Radio tonight, but Steve is unavailable. Um, so I got, I was going to, I was going to, Show some solidarity because lately he's been pounding the chorus heavy. So I got a chorus heavy to whip it out on the show once he whipped it out. But we're not doing the show tonight, so I'm gonna drink it here. Boom. You gotta listen to Western rock. Music about cowboys making deals with the devil. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Let's go, boys. Tapes in the building, baby. Tape. We're taking meat to the top of the mountain. Uh, oh no, not to be that guy. Does Hive Mind Radio have a schedule? Yes. Uh, Thunder Squid Thursday, I will tell you the schedule right now. And everyone else watching as well can commit this to memory. My internet radio program that we do live here on Twitch at the channel HM Radio, Hive Mind Radio, airs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Except for tonight. <laughs> We've been on a roll, so if you want to go back and watch some VODs, the last week or so has been fantastic. <laughs> Which, oh, and I have to say, Squid, you're welcome on anytime as a third mic or, or featured guest. You're 100% welcome to join the program. Eric in the building. I saw that host earlier. We would actually, we would love to have you on, because then we'd get the, uh, we'd finally get the, uh, the, the, the end of the, uh, the bit, because we've been doing the HMR radio bit since you started doing the HMR radio bit, so we'd finally bring that all the way around. <laughs> oh, I see you, I see you throwing out your dividends. Oh, I gotta play you guys the new sound! Oh my god, okay, yesterday, we added a new sound to the soundboard, so you know, we got the legendary sounds, right? We got the... We got the, Germany. right? We got the, 
the ah! we got the very topical oh a little bit of the bubbly we got a little bit of the Some really suck. right we got a this is what you right get. you know i'm just going through the hits going through the hits a little dark metamorphosis, dark metamorphosis. right Miercoles! All the hits, you know what I'm saying? Misha with the no. No! You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or one of my favorites. I'm not words. But right? I don't, I don't recommend, recommend this. All the hits, y'all Y'all used to the hits. But we got this one yesterday, courtesy of P Nasty hooked us up with this. This was a moment in time, captured, translated. This comes courtesy of the Scarface video game. And you know what? I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I'm going to just hit the button and y'all can hear it for yourself. You think all me am is me tits? <laughs> it's like my favorite sound ever. You think all me am is me tits? <laughs> I, can't, I can't get enough of it. You think all me am is me tits? <laughs> I can't get enough of it. I just, I've been hitting it in situations where it does not apply at all. <laughs> you think all me am is me tits? Oh, Squid, I was going to say I thought of you right away, but that, that might be inappropriate. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought you would think it was funny. <laughs> you think all me am is me tits. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. I'm easily entertained. <laughs> I love it, so it's applicable. Oh, my God. That's, what, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. Oh, shit. Meat and potatoes, baby. Let's go! I'm so glad I, I decided to stream this today. This is exactly what I needed. I needed like a hangout. Sometimes you need to stream a game where you can like literally turn your brain off. Meat doesn't accept defeat! I love it! Yo, y'all are killing the catchphrase game. Let's go, boys. Oh, and which, by the way, maybe I got to say this for you people, too. When I say let's go, boys, we're all boys. That is not at all gender specific. Like Thunder Squid Thursday is my boy. Bye out. Oh, we got to put it in the build. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, can't you know I'm trying to keep the action going, but we gotta we gotta respect the points that get spent. How we doing on that fable? I should check on that. What's this now? Tape always comes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Your boy. Your boy meat. Let's go. Get him in. All right, here we go. So this this will really bring it home for y'all who are who are not familiar. This is the character we are currently wrestling as. <laughs> we got to take him to the top of the mountain. There's only one way to go with those frosted tips, and that's straight to the top. <laughs> Looks like a buff beaver. Yo, buff beavis would be a tremendous name for a wrestler. I'm just going to say that right now. How have we never gotten a Buff Beavis? How? That's it. I'm changing gears. I'm starting a wrestling career tomorrow, and my name's going to be Buff Beavis. Let's go. And the, the irony of it is going to be that it's just going to be me. I'm not going to get in any better shape, so I'm going to walk in with my big-ass beer belly and just be like, what's up? I'm Buff Beavis. <laughs> Is he a planet or is he from the planet? Dude, you know what? Some questions are not made to have answers, you know what I'm saying? Boom, let's go. The big power bomb. Wow. Count to a thousand. Oh, come on now. I've lost track of who the legal man is. Am I beating up the legal man or is this his partner? I don't even know. Oh, time for America's favorite move. Meat and potatoes, baby. Oh, he reversed me. How dare you? 
Nah, you don't got that kind of clout. You want a rap drought. Come on. Get out of here. Boom. There it is. There it is. Big finish. It's over, boys. Count to a thousand. Oh, Draz, you gotta do work. You had one draw. You had Draz. You had one job. There it is. That's all I ask. Rolling right along. Let me keep it moving. I want to see if we can get to at least one title match before it, before the end of the stream. Let's go, boys. Give us a belt. We've earned it. Come on. Oh, Al Snow and Hardcore Holly have the tag titles. Come on. We can take them out. Let's go. That should have been our match. We beat the Hardys three times. Oh, snap. We should be getting a Misha sighting pretty soon. Ask and ye shall receive. Let's go. We got a chance at the hardcore championship of the world. Let's go. Meat versus Matt Hardy for the hardcore strap. Let's go. We about to have gold. Thank you, Matt Hardy, for being my default face pick in video games for like seven years straight. I appreciate it. <laughs> I heard when wrestlers do a power bomb, the guy receiving the move whispers, pause. To the guy lifting his groin into his face. <laughs> pause. I can't wait to make the thumbnail for this video. I'm excited about it. I'm gonna use that picture of Stasiac and I'm gonna use those lips. I love how the Hardy Boys are just generic characters in this game. It's really great. Oh! You love to see it. Thanks, Little. I appreciate that very much. The tape should always be rocking the hat. I'm going to take your belt, and I ain't even going to do no hardcore wrestling to get it. I'm going to outclass you. Oh, oh, oh. Shmoney's in the chat. Where the Shmoney's at? Where the Shmoney's at? Hit them Shmoney's. Blah, 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 blah. Shmoney's and the Shmeet. We got the Shmeet and the Shmoney. Boom, let's go. Kick to face. Bah! So I gotta say, I picked Meat, obviously, because what we do on this channel when we stream wrestling games is we pick the lowest of the low and we take them to the highest of the high. But I actually, without any jokes or silliness, I'm very much enjoying his moveset. He has a very... Pardon the phrase, meat and potatoes moveset. And I like it. It's got old school wrestling vibes. And I'm into it. Dare I say it, I might be team meat. Oh, if I'd have took his belt with a roll-up. Oh, how do I? Oh, the ultimate in disrespect! The ultimate in disrespect! Stealing your man's finishing maneuver. You love to see it. Bam! Scorpion deadlock, death drop, the most deadly finisher in the game. In one minute and 42 seconds, we have become a champion. G 
you know what? Celebrate. Can you give me the belt? Can I see us wearing the hardcore gold? Or do I just have to know? Squid! Squid! Me Miglia! I didn't know you got down like that! Throwing out gift subs! Spend that sub money. Ooh. Take the sandwich fund. Turn it into a, a, a bell fund. I like that. Yo, you in the building! Oh! Yo, wait, 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 you and Vin started a new tag team and y'all go by the name Blade Runner 2049. I love it. I hope you know that I'm gonna have to create y'all in the game now. You know this. You know this. That I gotta push y'all to the moon. Vin with the rabbit punches. Oh, let's go. Oh shit, yet another put it in the bill. I love it. Y'all are active today. I feel that. This is a good this is a this is a good stream. Pardon me, I got a little bit of the agita from the Ar Ar Arnold Palmer. It's like he's talking back at me. <clears throat> oh, 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 this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. P of course P nasty. I should have assumed it was P nasty. Yo, if y'all don't follow, it's your boy P Nasty. Anybody watching this that doesn't follow, it's your boy P Nasty. Just go follow him. He's 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 the legend of Twitch, the greatest of all time. I think we could all agree on that, guys. 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 Ah, right, you know what? This right here has to get a rare honor. Rare honor. This don't happen every day. We're covering the title card. The highest possible praise. Some some things. Some things you just gotta push to the mood. So, I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> I like how I'm the one with the darker arms. And I, I have no doubt that that was a creative choice. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I love everything about that. <laughs> wow. You, you know what? You love to see it. You I I've said that many times. I don't know if it's ever applied more than right now. You love to see it. I'm so glad. I bought this game on a whim. I was just remembering. Because um, obviously I have my... I have my No Mercy cart right here, right? And we've been doing, we took a break for a little while, but we've been doing at least once a week, we were trying to do wrestling streams on the channel, right? And just kind of get through all, all the old school wrestling games that we grew up with, play some of the ones we never played, and just be silly and have a good time. So eventually I was gonna have to get this game, but I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, No Mercy, while it is the superior game, it almost makes this game get forgotten. And I'm like, but I had such a good time playing this game when it came out. So I was like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up a copy of that. And so I went and looked on eBay, got one for real cheap. And it just happened to come today on the perfect day where I was like, I don't know what to stream. I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling strong enough to do another return on stream because that game, you gotta be locked in and focused. You can't be, can't be messing around with that game. It was just, just perfect. Yeah, we've been, we've been through 10 matches already. Let's go. And now we're the hardcore champion of the world. You love to see it. Yiddy got the farmer's tan. It's from wearing your cutoff sleeves on your sweet motorcycle. Just like real life. Absolutely. You heard of WCW Feel the Bang? Boom. Yo, I wanna get into I wanna get into some some WCW games. I haven't we haven't done any WCW yet. It, it'll happen. It'll happen. Cause I try to get the carts if they're not too expensive. Cause you know, I love I love whenever possible I love playing on old school hardware because it's just I don't know it feels right like oh it's a no mercy mod dude I've been trying to get no mercy mods to because I, I I run everything off a of Mac because I'm a Mac guy and it's just very difficult to get uh, no mercy mods running properly on the Mac I'm still messing with it I might figure it out 
Um, oh my God, I would love. Oh, is that is that like a is that like a a, a WCW um like like an end of the roster type of game? Like they taking the the No Mercy vibe and, and making it WCW? Because if so, that's fucking rad. Oh, that's sick. Oh, gotta get those mods working. I'll, I'm gonna figure it out. I will figure it out. If not now, then by the time, because I am, I am starting to think about. I want to build a gaming PC because what I want to do is I want to get this Mac away from the internet and focused on just being my Logic and like my music recording and video editing machine. And then I want to get a separate gaming PC for all this streaming shit. And uh, and this way I have, I'm more flexible in the types of games that I can play because there's a whole side of my gaming upbringing and and things that I rarely touch on because getting old school PC games to run on my Mac is very hit and miss. I do well. I, I've gotten some things to work that should not have worked, but it's always like a pain in the ass. WCW 2000 localized entirely within your kitchen. Can I see it? Which wrestling game has the best customization options? I feel like it would be the PS2 era. Uh, Squid, to be honest, since like the days of this stuff, like N64 and PS... Uh, PS1, not right away, but eventually, but definitely PS2. All the way since that era till now, they've all been pretty good. Once that once that feature got kind of locked in, it sort of became a staple. Like, you gotta have it. You can't, you know, you can't go backwards. You gotta have the ability to create a cool wrestler. L lots of great fun in the PS2. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. Meat versus Shane McMahon. Mm -mm. Time to beat up on the boss's son. Let's do it. Let me make sure my ringer's turned on so I can hear when Misha arrives. I see it, and that's all I need to see. You think all me am is me tits? <laughs> Isolate that. You think all me am is me tits? Get that from the soundboard. You think all me am is me tits? Dog metamorphosis. You think all me am is me tits? Miracles. <laughs> it's just, it's just too good. It's just, it's just too good. And that's what happened to me. It was because what happened, we were playing the game, right? And we were playing Scarface. This was yesterday. And you can like, as as Tony, you can flirt with girls on the street. And most of the time they, they like are not into it, right? Oh, oh, I, can, I got you. I got you. Hold up. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta maneuver it. You think all me am is me tits. There it is. So, all right. So, so you can flirt with random girls and they're usually not into it. So that happened. He, he was flirting with this Jamaican woman, and that's what she hit him with. And immediately I was like, yo, somebody clip that, isolate that. I need it for the soundboard. And then not 10 minutes later, P. Nasty's like, yo, check your Discord inbox. I, I, I sent you the sound clip. He just did it. He just he, he isolated it. He recorded it. He made the sound clip. He sent it to me. Within 10 minutes of me saying the word someone isolate that, I had it on my soundboard. Because he's the man. Because he's literally the best of the best. I'm constantly forgetting to clip things or edit them and, and add them to the soundboard. Be Nasty made it happen within five minutes. <laughs> you know, like 10 minutes later, I had this shit. I was like, God damn, man. You'll love to see it. Oh. It's time for America's favorite move. Oh, I fucked it up. No! The people demand meat and potatoes. Damn, I fucked it up. 
Now, here, retribution. Retri oh, come on. Why you got to fall over the top rope like that? Have more constitution. Come here. Oh, no, no, no. I got to do it for the people. The people demand it. Fall to the ropes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Meat and potatoes, baby. Meat and potatoes. With the corner taunt. Because you got to pop off. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't count if you don't pop off. Can we beat him in under two minutes? Oh, victory roll! Count it! Get up. Get up. Oh, don't run away. Can I steal your punches? Oh, that's even worse. Terrible. That should, that should finish it? That's a terrible move. Come here. Come here. Let, let me show you something. Let me spin you a question. Wow. You can't defeat me. Was that? I forgot what it was. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's gone. <laughs> Does he have coast to coast in this? No, this is uh, this is earlier, Shane. He doesn't quite have his uh, his full move set yet. These are the meat streets. I meat streets. The me oh my god. You know what? You know what? That's it. As of this moment, collectively together, we are all the meat street posse. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Statement of purpose. You're gonna see more of this game. This is not a one and done. I will, I will bring this stream back so that we can make sure we get meat all the way to the world championship. Usually Tuesday was the wrestling slot. But I don't know, maybe Friday fights is a thing. We'll see. We'll see. Meat Street Posse. Yes, Meats of Rage 2. Excellent video game. Do you remember that old 90s cartoon? Oh, Meats, yo, I... Loved Street Sharks. I'm gonna say it. Street Sharks was my shit, and you know why? Because they were totally jawsome. Really? I'm the tag team champion. I mean, I'm the hardcore champion of the world, and you're sending me back to the tag team ranks against D'Lo Brown and Mark Henry? All right. All right. That's fine. I'm down to win a tag team match. Let's go. And Biker, oh, Biker Mice from Mars. Now, I liked Biker Mice from Mars, but it was rarely on at a time that I could catch it. I would only see it once in a while. Street Sharks, though, I went out of my way to watch that shit. I was like, oh, hell yeah. When did WWE ever really care about their hardcore division? That's true. That was more my older brother's jam, but he was into it before. He, he was into it before TMNT. Turtles and X Men took over. Dude, okay. I love Ninja Turtles. I was a huge Ninja Turtles fan. And obviously, I, I feel like I must have said this on the channel before, but I learned how to read. Reading those old school 70s, 80s, Claremont burn x-men comics like the classic x-men comics the, all that you know dark phoenix and all that that's how i learned how to read and obviously like i didn't i didn't make the connection at the time but me having a disability and kind of feeling like a, a space alien you know feeling very oh d -Lo brown baby feeling different from most people you know just I gravitated to the X-Men so hard. I was super into the message of those comics. And like, I didn't even pick up on the whole it being an allegory for like race relations and all that until way later. Um, so I loved the X-Men when I was a kid. So when that cartoon came out, that cartoon was my whole world. Like I, 
adored the X-Men cartoon. I watched every episode, second only to Batman the Animated Series in my all-time like animated shows list. Um, I, I loved that X-Men cartoon. And I love the Turtles as well, for very different reasons. Can someone ban Lil? You mean to recognize? What? You mean to recognize? I, I see no problem with that statement. <laughs> oh shit, it's AEW's own Mark Henry. I like Jubilee because I like fireworks. Name my saxophone after Jubilee. Squid! You rocking, you rocking the sax? Let's go! I didn't know that. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. Thunder Squid finishes the stream and she's all like, pretty, 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 Let's go, boys. You got to give Mark Henry Delos Tron and music so they come out together. That's how you do it? Oh, I didn't even know that. I'm going to do that. I wish Mark Henry walked out wearing a salmon jacket on Sunday night. Yeah, that would have been rad. That's that's an oversight. You should have did that. That's what I do. Or maybe they, maybe just they didn't want to be like riding WWE like that, you know? Oh, we moved up in the tax bracket. D'Lo is more difficult. Uh, I never learned how to read music. I, I, I'm one of those people that, like, every instrument that I've ever played in my life, I'm just entirely self-taught. I just picked it up and started messing with it. Because even down to, like, uh, I have I have a... what to, For anybody that doesn't know, this is old information. I have cerebral palsy. as a neurological brain disorder. So my brain fires a lot of neurons, and that affects my existence in a lot of crazy ways, and one of which is that I have a synesthetic brain, uh, which synesthesia, synesthesia is when, you, when your brain swaps one sense for another. So I process sound as color. Um, so in my vibe has always been I will pick up a color from music, and then I will try to play things that are complementary colors. So if I feel like the music is really blue, I'll try to play something that's really orange, you know? And that's how I've always played. And when I was when I was learning how to make uh, play guitar and shit, I thought that it was a mnemonic that I was giving myself. I thought that I was teaching myself to play by associating colors to the sounds. And then it was only later, ah, bringing it all the way around to the stream. There's a Porcupine Tree song named Synesthesia. And I saw that the name of that title and I was like, what does that word mean? And I looked it up. And when I read the definition, I started laughing. I was like, oh, I've been doing that shit forever. I didn't realize that it was a thing. I just thought it was something I was associating in my brain. And um, so that's that's how I make music. Everything is color. And it's just I just kind of find my way around. Like I, I've been playing long enough that I know what, what chord names are. And I can you know piece things together to a certain degree. But I can't read shit. It's all just feel for me, everything. So I'm always like kind of blown away by people who, yeah, that's what, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Um, that so I'm always blown away by people who can read because I I can't read. I'm like I think it's the coolest thing in the world. Damn, it's hard to it's hard to like play and concentrate. Y'all are y'all are so active today. I'm having trouble keeping up with y'all. What did I miss? Hold on. I can only read Trouble Clef. Caris Alhambra, nothing but sax solos. You love to see it. Uh, I only play at a high school level. Uh, I have a clarinet, although it's been on use since 2007. Probably moldy. <laughs> I'm over here just feeling frequencies. Lame. <laughs> My nuts be. <laughs> Danny, I can't read. Someone get this poor boy hooked on phonics. Yeah, all four years of high school. I couldn't get a jazz band playing that. Though. Oh my God. Yo. 
I see I see the words reading rainbow in the chat. Am I the only one that's disappointed that LeVar Burton didn't get the Jeopardy job? It should have been it should have been LeVar Burton. That's all I'm saying. Hefty nuts in the chat, ring the bell. Twice, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I gotta focus. Hold on. I can't get my first nut. Oh, my first nut. <laughs> I can't get my first loss hanging out talking about nuts with all of y'all. Yo, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna besmirch Lavar Burton in my chat tape. You better take that shit. You better not say things you don't mean. Watch this. This was, oh, why you messed it up? I was gonna disrespect you. Bring me D-Lo. Come here. Come here. Boom. Into your chest. Into your chest. Into your chest. Oh, please. He caught me with his toe. Yo, D'Lo Brown is OP. All my meat tactics are not working. There it is. Just had to slow it down. That's all. Slow it down. Back to, you know what? Back to meat and potatoes. Back to what brought us to the dance in the first place. Meat. Oh, look at this man reversing everything. Fall through the ropes. <gasps> Reversed. Chin. Boom. There it is. Leg drop to the chest. No. He's got offensive maneuvers. Look at him stuffing my drop kick. Punching me in the face. Yeah, please tag out. Tag out. I need, I need a reprieve. All of a sudden, I had to, I had to focus. Meet him aqua. Oh, shit! Squid! Why does that one guy have a tattoo of a vagina on his back? It's not a vagina. It's a series of symbols that he don't know what they mean. He just got it because they look cool. You know what I'm saying? It was the 90s. It was a different time. Oh, here we go. Meat and potatoes, baby. <laughs> oh, word, word, word. Yo, word. P-Nasty in the building. You think all me am is me tits? Isolate that. You think all me am is me tits? <laughs> oh, there's a bear in the chat. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, there's a bear in the vestibule. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I gotta throw up a quick BRB. I'll be right back. We're gonna finish this match. We might even sneak in one more. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, let's go. I'll be right back. You know what? You know what? Let's do it right. Let's do it right here. Y'all get the little screen. Boom. Y'all get the music. I'll be right back.
4 hours, 18 minutes, and 12 seconds for those of you playing along at home. And I know that you are. We have no choice. Let's get back into it. So here's the plan. We're going to finish this match. I'm going to see what the next match is. If it's a for a belt or if it's a singles match, I'm going to do that. And then that's the stream. Let's go, boys. And then I'm going to eat some food because I'm getting hungry. So, Misha, since you can see the TV, can you yell for the people one time and tell them how good this game that is standard definition running into this 1080p box, running into that 4K box, projected onto this giant TV? Can you tell them how surprisingly good this game looks? It's surprisingly good. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Misha with an eye that you want to like Misha. <laughs> Wait, what's up? Oh, did you hear that? Misha is asking a very specific question. She wants to know how Thunder Squid is the cutest thing in the world. I can't possibly answer that question. Only Squid can answer that question for Misha. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> World Championship Energy. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Oh, flipping moves. I didn't know I had flips. No, no, no. You're not getting away. Come here. No, 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 no. We're winning this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. I said, oh, come on. He's going to, oh, he's going to get the tag. He's going to get the tag. Oh, he did not get the tag. I kicked his head in. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yitty, yitty, man. Titty, titty bitty. Reverse brick is not a thing. Don't, 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 don't be out here. Don't be out here trying to make fetch happen. All right, it's not going to happen. <laughs> No, get out of here. Mm. I, it's brick, but reverse. Yeah, I got you. I, I, I see what you did. <laughs> it didn't have that many layers. <laughs> oh, what's up? Pepper, pepper, corn, bing bong. I love it. I love it. That might be my favorite name. 69. That might be the greatest name I've ever seen in the history of Twitch. <laughs> Woo! Oh, widow. Woo! Oh, hold up, hold up. You gonna throw? You gonna show up and throw out a woo like that and think we not gonna do this? Throw them up, boys. Throw them up. You love to see it with the single bit. I like that. I like that. Oh! 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 Yo! Watch out! Shmoney's in the chat with the gift sub from Thunder Squid. You love to see it. Shmoney's up for the new arrival. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, you know what that deserves. <laughs> you think all me am is my tits? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the only sound they could ever. Oh, here, Misha. So you, you, you can be. You think all me am is my tits? <laughs> it's, it's really the only sound they could ever play. It's just, it's all purpose now. Uh, yes, that should be three BJ Harvey vinyls, and not some other bullshit we didn't order. Hopefully. <laughs> remember, remember when we were broke motherfuckers and used to pay for beers with quarters? I do, I do, Yiddy. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I ain't trying to act like we left that life behind completely now. <laughs> Started from the bottom, at the upper middle bottom. <laughs> Here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Higher up in the bottom area. <laughs> Boom. Got him. Which, by the way, Pepper, go hit Thunderscript with that follow as well. She is an excellent Twitch streamer. If you don't already follow, of course. Let me not assume. <laughs> really? Squid invented Twitch? I didn't know that. Damn, you go, yeah. you go deep with the lore. You love to see it. And bye. <laughs> no other streamer is a real person. <laughs> oh shit, really? Us right now here, we are not real. I'm a robot? I didn't know that. Hey, I'm gonna... I didn't say you were a robot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the win. Eight minutes. This is ridiculous. Let's not make uneducated guesses. I love that. <laughs> I created Amazon for I am Amazon. Witness me spear. Yes. Yo, this would be the first time Amazon has ever sent us multiple vinyls correctly. Oh. Thankfully, I don't have to walk too far to make Amazon returns. Um, but it's still terrible every time. Listen, there's nothing wrong with the cradle pin, all right? Sometimes 12 and 0 on the day. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit this button. If there's if it's a single match or a title match, we're going we're going to play it. If not, if not we going we going to raid. I'm not in the mood for another tag team match. Let's go. Oh, it's the king of the ring, baby. King of the ring. You love to see it. We on pay-per-view. Let's go. Ah, tag team. Damn. You know what? This is an excellent cliffhanger. Meat and Draws versus Dude Love and Cactus Jack, which is actually impossible because they're the same man. Damn. All right, let's go raid somebody. This was an excellent stream. Probably my favorite stream of like the last month. Y'all killed it. I appreciate it so much. One more time for the people. You think all me am is me tits? Everybody hang out for the raid. Let's send the love to the next person. If you're going to dip after that, ain't nobody going to know. So that's fine. But let's stay for the raid. Let's do it right. <laughs> let's do things the right way. Oh my goodness. Seriously, thank you guys. This was a great day. Thank you for all the subs and the gift subs and the love and the new follows and everybody who who squid, thank you for the raid. That was amazing. And and uh and, and B Murderstein raided me at the beginning. I don't want to forget that. Everybody, thank y'all so much. I had a great time today. You know, every once in a while this happens where I'm kinda having like a, a, a weird energy, like a low energy, and I and I and I say instead of like chumping out and not streaming. We do the stream, and y'all come through and make me feel loved and supported. And I appreciate that. Look at that. P-Nasty coming through with the bitch. you love to see it. Corey the Dinosaur is streaming. We're going to see Corey the Dinosaur. That's obvious. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you guys so much. This was a great day. I, I really appreciate it. And okay, I'll see y'all on Monday. We'll be back on Monday with some more Resident Evil 6. You think all me am is me tits? See ya. <laughs>